In this video, I'm going to teach you how to do CSI and the chemistry work that is used within CSI. We're going to do an activity. It's a murder mystery called Mole Airlines. And you will have an upload of this page, or if you're sitting in class, you'll have one of these in your hand. And so basically, it's a murder mystery that's going on. And we're going to be practicing uh, percent uh, by mass and empirical formulas, which we practiced in the other videos. Okay, so reminder, when you go to work these problems, you're going to have percents of compounds, and then you're going to convert those into some kind of formula, AL something, S something, and you'll figure that out pretty simply, okay, and you figure out the empirical formula. So somebody who uh, did a really good job put together this Mole Airlines murder mystery. And so when you go into this murder mystery, you'll want to make sure you read paragraph one really well. Okay, so basically what's happened is there is a, a flight on an aircraft and all the different characters um, that are on the plane, the plane explodes in air, but when they go to uh, figure out who, which body is which, anytime a disaster like that happens, they send out a team and that team has to decide which body is which person, those kinds of things, um, then they have to identify each of the bodies, but as they are doing that, they find that somebody has been murdered before the flight ever exploded in air. And so your job is to figure out who was murdered and who did it. So I'm going to point to a couple of things first. Okay? So on this um, activity, what you're going to see is on the very back of it, you're going to see the flight list. These are all the passengers, and they tell you what their occupation is. Okay, everything from the pilot to um, a baker to a pharmacist, that kind of thing. It's going to tell you who's on the flight, and I'll deal with this in just a minute. Okay? So there are three jobs that you have to do for this activity, and they're right here. Your job is to use the percent composition data to determine the formulas and identities of the compounds that are found on the victims at the crash site. Use personal data, so you're going to figure out what compounds they were. Secondly, use personal data about them to figure out which person each one is, and then determine who was murdered and who the murderer was. Okay, so I'm going to start through the first example with you to help you to be organized. I've done this for years, but the, it can be very, very overwhelming, so I'm going to show you basically how to do it. So in this first one, it says victim number one, and it gives you the percents. It says analysis of the compound and where it was found. So it's going to be 67.31% carbon, 6.97% hydrogen, 4.62% nitrogen, and 21.1% oxygen. So you're going to have to do all this on your own paper. So I'm just going to show you how to do it on this first one, and then you'll just duplicate it, replicate it, in all the others. So here are all my compounds. The first unknown compound is 67.31% carbon. There's hydrogen, there's nitrogen, and oxygen. Victim number one, this is how I would do it on my paper. Victim number one, don't know their name. I have to identify this compound first. So the very first thing we do um, is we m make these into grams. And this is all things that you know how to do from the last video. And then you're going to convert them into moles. Grams, mole, one mole. Grams, mole, one mole. Grams, mole. You have to show all of your work to get credit, as always one mole. Carbon is 12 grams on the periodic table. Hydrogen is one gram. Nitrogen is 14 grams. Oxygen is 16 grams. Now you may think you know that very quickly. Yes, I do it all the time. Then I grab my handy dandy box, 67.31 divided by 12. And I carried a couple of decimals. 5.609. Okay, 5.609. 6.97 divided by 1 is going to be 6.97, so that's easy math. 4.62 divided by 14 is 0.33. And then 21.1 divided by 16 is 1.319, 1 1.319. So I'm carrying a couple of decimal places, and here's why. Each of those are mole numbers. Now I divide by the smallest to figure out the ratio between each of the elements in the compound. 
So I know that that one's a 1. Okay, so I have this one on my calculator already. 1.319 divided by 0.33 equals, okay, I'll do that again. 1.319 divided by 0.33 equals, you can tell 3.99, that's a 4. Okay, 6.97 divided by 0.33 equals, that's a 21. 5.609 divided by 0.33, 16.99 was a 17. So the formula here, substance, C17, H21, N1, O4. Now you may think we don't ever learn compounds like that. That's really big, but that's right. You're correct. Um, so what's going to happen for you is you have your paperwork here. And on the very back are possible compounds that you're going to use. Matter of fact, you're going to use all of these one time. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find the formula that's C7H21NO4. And you will find that right there, okay, as I, you're going to have to zoom in a little bit, but you'll see it on your own paper, C17H21. And that is substance is cocaine. And so you may think, wow, okay, what are we doing here? Okay, well, obviously you're going to be finding compounds. Now you got to, what I suggest is, so I know that victim number one had the illegal drug cocaine in their blood and in their luggage. Okay, that's going to be a hint for me later. And then what I'm going to do is, what I would do if I were you, is I can't fill in the victim's name right there. Do all the compounds first and find out. So victim two actually has two compounds. Victim three has one. Victim four has one. Victim five has two things on them. Six has one. Seven has two. Eight has two. Let me give you a big hint. You're going to use all of these compounds one time. And then when you have all of your victims and all of your work and you have all the substances, then you'll be able to pick, okay, if this person had this compound, and where did it say, was in their blood, in their luggage, I think I know who it is. And so you can start figuring out, a flight plan always has who's on the plane, and so you're going to figure out all the victims, okay? And so you're going to victim one, you'll figure out eventually it's one of these people, okay? And they give you a little background, okay? Now there's a, this is a wild crew on the on this plane. You have everything from a sus suspected uh, leader of a terrorist organization to a drug dealer to an environmental engineer to a pro athlete, uh, a teacher, a baker, a pharmacist, and the pilot. Well, pilot has a heart condition. That's great. Have a pilot with a heart condition. But you've got to figure out who each person is. So you had three jobs, remember? Use the percent data to figure out the compounds. I did. Number two, and I'd have to do it for all of them. Number two, personal data to figure out who each victim is, so eventually I'll figure out which victim, each name, and then from what you see, who was murdered and who the probable murderer was. You're practicing empirical formulas and doing it as a murder mystery.